Clone High is officially back. The brand new season of Clone High has finally made its debut over on Max. And just like the original season, the show keeps the same exact charm 20 years later. And while it's great to see a lot of the old characters make their return, there's a few things that are definitely different about this new season. And in case you haven't figured that out by now, there are definitely a lot of characters that did not make the cut for their current return. For instance, the character Gandhi is not in this brand new season at all. Why is that? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Anima TD, better known as Animated, and I want to thank you so much for tuning into this brand new video. So like I just said, the brand new season of Clone High has finally made its debut over on Max. And based off of the two episodes that I've already watched, I gotta tell you, I really like this show a lot. When it was announced a while back that Clone High was getting a season two without Gandhi, fans everywhere were definitely afraid. Being part of the original cast, Gandhi added a certain kind of charm to the show that we honestly didn't have in the early 2000s with other television series. As revealed in the first two episodes now available to stream, the character Gandhi will remain in the freezer for the foreseeable future. Fans will surely miss the presence of Abe Lincoln's beloved sidekick, but the decision to exclude him for the revival was a no-brainer from the creators. In an interview, it was clearly stated the reason the show was canceled in the first place was because of Gandhi, so we didn't want to have it canceled again before it even started. And again, while it's great that we have a lot new characters added to the mix, I still kind of feel like the show feels kind of empty without Gandhi being there. Now, once again, we have talked about this subject in a lot of different videos. And for some reason, every time I talk about it, a lot of you guys still don't clearly get a lot of what I'm saying, which to be honest, is totally fair. For those people that actually watch the original series and see how Gandhi was being portrayed and what he was kind of doing, it almost seems like a actually great idea that he wasn't in this revival in the first place because I really like Clone High. I want to see more. Don't get it canceled after another season. And although Gandhi doesn't necessarily make a full on appearance within the first two episodes, they definitely have a clever way as to showing where exactly he's at within the first episode. You know, normally I check in with my bro Gandhi at times like this. I think he's been avoiding me. So it's nice to see that at least they acknowledge Gandhi as a character within the new season. Although Gandhi isn't exactly present within the new season, there are a pair of new characters that do take his place. Clones of Chinese philosopher Confucius and Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. These characters take care of a lot of the things that Gandhi would do, but they're also their own unique characters. And while currently there's only two episodes out on Max right now, I'm honestly interested to see how these two specific characters take on the role of Gandhi and make it their very own later on. So essentially, for Gandhi to even make a return at all, he would essentially have to be reworked into a brand new character almost, leaving behind all of his sexual antics and other personality traits behind, just for the show to even survive more seasons. Which to me is definitely a smart idea, but makes me sad at the same time. Now here's the thing, could Gandhi possibly make a return in the future if there happens to be more seasons written? Honestly, I really do hope so. Gandhi was one of my personal favorite characters from the show alongside JFK, so it would really be nice to see Gandhi be finally frozen out of the free and enter the show once again. Maybe cut back a lot of the antics that he had before and make him, I don't know, probably a little bit more appropriate for this day and age. It is nice to finally see Ape have other friends to go on ahead and interact with within the show. And although Frida and Confucius will be temporary replacements for Gandhi, I'm still very excited to see as to how they're gonna take up the mantle of the highly anticipated character. And who knows, maybe these two characters together will be a lot better than Gandhi ever was in the original. Until then, he's still locked up in the freezer for the unforeseeable future. So hopefully we get to see him soon in later seasons. Until then, who knows? Now guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you watched a brand new season of Clone High over on Max yet? Do you think the show will feel a little bit empty now that Gandhi's officially not coming back for the foreseeable future? And if you have seen the two new episodes of Clone High, what were your thoughts on them? Let me know in the comments below. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this video for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more cartoon news and reviews coming to you real soon. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this video for today. Once again, my name is Anima TD, better known as Animated. And I hope that you go on ahead and tune in next time.